Hi everyone, my name's Becky from Back to Blighty and welcome back to the podcast. This is episode eight and um, happy new year. I hope that you got to spend lots of time with your family and friends over the festive period, whether or not you choose to celebrate Christmas. Um, We do, and I was hoping actually to do a podcast just before Christmas, but time is taken up with um, knitting and family and friends and all sorts of lovely things. So apologies that I didn't speak to you before Christmas, but I do hope that you had a good one. Um, Welcome to all my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you with me and welcome if you're new. I hope you enjoy spending a little bit of time with me today. Now, I also have a little shout out to Granny Beth. Hi, Granny Beth. Now, Granny Beth is my brother's granny-in-law and I've not actually met her, but um, my brother and my dad tell me that she found this podcast while she was staying with my brother over Christmas and um, she really loved it. So hi Granny Beth, Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you at some point when I do come down to Cornwall next time. Um, But it's lovely that you found me and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you as I said. So that's really good. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and Ravelry. I'll put the links below. And we now also have a group for the podcast over on Ravelry called the Batch Plate Podcast, where you can find all sorts of things going on. We've got a Mal at the moment. As you can see here, do you see what I did? Um, We've got the Cozy Up for Winter Mal happening. You need to add Mal to that if you're going to tag it because um, I couldn't fit it on there. But never mind, forgive me for that. But we're running a mal at the moment where we are making cosies for inanimate objects. Um, I am hosting this with the lovely Ali from the Little Drops of Wonderful podcast. She is doing the crochet side, I'm doing the knitting side, and the mal runs until the 1st of February. Now there's loads of prizes going out um, and there's some we've seen some amazing things and it's really lovely that you are getting involved. But it can be something really tiny that could just take you a couple of hours to whip up. So um, So hop on over to Ravelry, post your finished objects things. I have got some prizes. I've got some yarn I've dyed. I've got some bags I've made. I've also got some things from some other people. Um, And I think what I'll do is instead of going through them on here is I will put up a prizes thread so that you can have a look at them in all their glory because also, you know, the light's a bit dodgy. It's winter here in Blighty. It's a really gray day. So I hope I'm not blowing out too much. But yeah, I shall do that and then you can keep up with that. So remember, use the hashtag on Instagram so we can see all the lovely things you're making and we can all comment on them and congratulate you in taking part. So that's very exciting. Now I'm drinking tea today in my new mug. This is a gift from the lovely Thea um, for Christmas and she bought it because um, obviously she thought it was quite apt and also it was for my podcast. So here it is. Love it, thank you Thea. Just drinking breakfast tea today, nothing special. I feel like I need the caffeine to be honest with you. Mm. But also, why are mugs like left-handed? Like there's nothing on the back. It's a right-handed mug and I'm right-handed, but I want everyone to see it. So I've got to kind of drink left-handed. So um, it's a bit of a new uh, experience for me. So, mm. So let's get on with some knitting goodness. Now, I have got one, two, three, four finished objects, four things off my needles, uh, which is very exciting. So I shall go through them with you. Now, I decided to make some advent socks um, and I did. So you might have seen these on Instagram. I posted them on Christmas day because that's when I wore them. Um, So these are my advent socks. They're just a vanilla sock. Um, and this yarn, the stripy yarn, is from uh, King Cole Zigzag and the heels, toes and cuffs I did with some leftovers of yarn that I had from Lay Family Yarn, their new beginning sock set, so, so this sort of speckled um, yarn is from that. Now you might have noticed that my ribs are slightly different lengths, didn't realise till I was halfway down the leg. And by that time, I couldn't be bothered. They're just for me. So I'm not too precious about it. So I used 60 stitches and I did a twisted rib at the top, which you can see there. And um, this is the Sonata colorway. Don't know if I mentioned that already. Sorry if I have. 
losing my train of thought already, it doesn't bode well. Um, I did a German short row heel and I just did a wedge toe. So just a basic vanilla socks. But yeah, love them. Um, the yarn is really soft, it's a lovely yarn, but it doesn't quite um, knit up as tight as other yarns that I've used. So not sure how hard wearing they're going to be, I shall let you know. Um, but yeah, I really like them, they're fun. Love those. And I kind of like robin colours, which I really like as well. So that was my first finished object over Christmas. Um, what else? Oh, you might have seen a little friend up there. So I'll just get him. So this was a Christmas gift from my son Jack, um, who you will hopefully have seen. He's got a podcast. Um, he's called Slip Slip Ginge on YouTube and on Ravelry. And he bought me this little unicorn. How cute is that? It's got a little tail. Um, this was a kit. I shall show you the, the pattern. There you go. So it's Knit Your Own Unicorn. Um, and I love unicorns, so yeah, really liked that. And uh, the kit was really easy. It was, yeah, just a breeze. I, I whipped this up in a day and a half, something like that. Um, it was a really fun make. It was a bit different for me. I don't generally do toys and stuffies and things like that, but I really liked it. So yeah, so he's going to sit up in my sewing room. Um, the yarn for the mane is a little bit different. Um, in the pattern you can see it's like a rainbowy. I hope it's not glaring too much. It's like a rainbow um, mane. But I decided that I would use some leftovers from my next project because I really like the colour and it's also got some Stellina in it. Um, I gave him like a sort of like bit of an afro so I split the um, the yarn so that it all sort of went so it's a little bit fluffy there's still stuff stuff coming out of it it's a fluff but um but yeah he's so cute look at that so I'm gonna pop him back up here so the yarn I used for the main and for my next project was a yarn by Cookston Crafts and it's called Outlander A Brave New World. Now, as you know, I am a massive Outlander fan and, um, and I saw it, loved the colour and thought, just gotta have it, it's just too good to miss. We're on season four, people, it's amazing, love it. Um, but this is the yarn. Now it's got a Stellina base in it and it's a double knit weight. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I decided I wanted to make a hat with it. And I made the Timber Bay hat, which is a pattern by Melissa Shashwari. <laughs> I made a right pig's ear of that. I'm sorry, Melissa. It's a paper pattern and it's brilliant. So go on to Ravelry, have a look at it. Um, and I made the Timberland hat. And it's got this lovely twisted rib on it. It's so beautiful. Now the pattern is actually for a worsted weight yarn, but I didn't want it too slouchy, so I figured that DK would do fine and it fits really nicely. I popped this little brooch on. Now this brooch came from a hat that I had before, just a gray hat that was looking a bit sad. And I really like the fact that it came with a brooch on it, so I took it off and put it on my new hat. So it's beautifully soft and squidgy. Um, yeah, and it comes out so nicely. That fisherman's rib is just addictive. Love it. So I pop it on so you can have a little look-see. Um, this is where we all get really bad hair and look atrocious. But um, yeah, so it's got a bit of slouch here. Um, but it's really pretty. I really like it. Um, I'm hoping, just sort my hair out. I'm hoping that I'm going to get enough to make some little fingerless mitts or something with this. I'll probably pair it with just really pale grey and do some stripes or something like that. Um, but yeah, go on to her Etsy shop. It's amazing yarn. Um, I really do recommend it. So really quick project, really easy. Um, I didn't do the, it calls for a, a turned brim, a, you know, <laughs> you fold it back, folded brim maybe, not sure what you call that. Um, I chose not to, um, just because I didn't want it too sort of thick. I wanted it quite slim, but I would try the, um, the way the actual pattern is written because I do like that look as well so um, yeah really pleased with that hat. Now the last thing I finished were my Strictly socks for the Strictly Sock Along run by Ali from the Little Drops of Wonderful podcast and these have just been on my needles for ages. 
I don't really know why. I think I just got a bit sidetracked with other things. But I finished them literally New Year's Eve. I was about to go out to celebrate New Year and um, and I finally finished them. So I posted a really dodgy picture on Instagram because the light was really atrocious. Um, but just to prove that I did finish them in time. Um, although I think it was open a few days after that. So I could have sort of snuck it in. But I, you know, finished them. Now this... Uh, knit along was to go along with um, Strictly Come Dancing and the idea was that you made your socks while Strictly was on. Now I don't have a TV and so I didn't watch it um, but you're allowed to bend rules. I think that's probably the biggest rule I can bend, not having a TV and not watching Strictly but still took part in the knit along. But you know, Ali said that was okay. So anyway, here are my socks. They are the Wyatt Socks, um, which is a free pattern by the Crazy Sock Lady. And the yarn that I used is Life in the Long Grass in the Weathered Colourway. So it's got this really lovely um, pattern down the front, and then it's plain at the back. I did a German short row heel. I can't remember if that was in the pattern or I just did it because that's kind of my preference. And a two by two rib but I really like them, they're really lovely and sort of autumn-y, hence why they're called my Strictly Autumn Socks, because I started them in autumn. It's taken me that long, people, can you believe it? It's like, it's quite disgusting, really, it's taken that long. So anyway, so that is all, or they are all, my finished objects. Pretty, pretty good, I'm quite pleased with that. I have also, um, sorry, just didn't, I didn't wear a tea moustache, that would be really bad. So I'm just having a little bit of a tidy up. On to whips, so my work's in progress. So I have been very busy. And the first thing that I'm super excited about is in my glorious bag. It's a new bag. Look at that. Isn't it just the most beautiful bag ever? Now, this was a gift from Ali from the Little Drops of Wonderful podcast and we met up just before Christmas. It was the first time we'd met up and we met in Tunbridge Wells and if you saw her Vlogmas, it was on there. We met in Tunbridge Wells and she gave me this gorgeous bag. We had a brilliant time. We really loved and I was a little bit nervous because obviously you talk to people and you haven't met them but you feel like you know them. So I was a little bit nervous, but I needn't have worried. She was just lovely. And um, it was like an old friend that I hadn't seen for ages. So it was just brilliant. Um, so, but Ali gave me one of her dodgy bags. And here you can see there's a dodgy bag, dodgy bag pin. And also I have put on there my little drops of wonderful pin, which you can get from her shop. I don't know if she's got any in at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've got my um, little dots on pin. So thank you, Ali. I love this bag. And it just about holds my cardigan. So you may remember on my last podcast, I spoke to you about my frumpy jumpy and that I wanted to replace it. And um, so anyway, so I have done loads. So this is the Appenluhan cardigan. It's also called Alpine Glow, so we'll go with that. And it's by Isabel Kramer. And I have done the body and the sleeve. So, and there's men's, so ignore those. So yeah, so last time I saw you, I was, I was working up the body and I had got up to where the marker is. Um, and since then I have, oh, it's quite hard to show you. I've done the collar, I've done one of the button bands and I've done the sleeve. Um, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. This rib is just gorgeous. It's really beautiful. So um, yeah, I've still obviously got the band to do on this one, but it's getting there. And I think once it's blocked out, the actual pattern is lovely. It's really well written and it's beautiful. However, it does come up a bit small. So I pretty much got gauge. Um, in fact, I was a stitch less um, on the row. So it should have come up slightly bigger. Um, and after looking at all the comments on the pattern, 
quite a few people had found the same, that it had come up slightly snug. So it's not as loose as I thought it'd be, but it's actually really nicely fitting, so I'm not, haven't got a problem with that at all. Um, so I wouldn't change anything really. I might go up a size if I was to knit it again, but you know, I think this is going to be lovely and also I wanted it a little bit shorter because I wear a lot of high-waisted jeans and things like that so I wanted it to sit at the right level. This yarn is Knit Pick Simply Wool in the Wilbur colourway and that's 100% eco-friendly so it's not dyed or anything, um, it's just sort of put together <laughs> however they do that. Yeah, anyway, so it's all natural and it's a worsted weight yarn. So yeah, so I'm doing really well. So I'm hoping that by the next time I see you, I should have a cardigan, which is really exciting. So yeah, so that's now living in my dodgy bag, although I'm not sure how long for because, um, yeah, it only just fits in there. So I think I'm gonna have to find it a new home and find something else equally beautiful to put my to put in my dodgy bag, so um, so yeah. So thanks Ali, that's brilliant. Okay, what else have I got? Okay, so I've got, oh, sorry, just knocked my blockers. I have got um, a pair of socks on the needle, and it's just a pair of vanilla socks, um, but I'm doing them a little bit differently. This is my Quality Street colourway that I dyed up just before Christmas and it's on a Stellina base. It's still got my Christmas marker on and the reason it's got my Christmas marker on is because I'm going to have a go at Afterthought Heels. A little bit nervous about that <laughs> um, but I thought it's about time I learned something new. So I'm using these as my um, guinea pigs I guess. That's what we call them here if you try out something. I don't know why comes from it's actually quite cruel when you think about it but anyway um so yes yeah, so i'm going to try them on these so this yarn is on a stellina base i don't know how the color's coming out um and quality street for those of you who don't live in the uk uh, quality street is a tub of chocolates that are often associated with christmas it's a big tub of chocolate that you buy and there's loads of different chocolates in them and um yeah so i sort of base it around that so like the green triangle and the um, pink fudge and all those sort of things. I've named the two the two that I don't actually like. I'm a bit of a strawberry cream girl and I like toffee pennies as well so but anyway I digress. Um, the contrasting yarn that I used here for the toe and the um, what's that the cuff and that I will be using for the heel is just a mini game that I dyed up ages ago um, and I thought it would work really well. So I've done one, I've done that much of the second one. So yeah, so I shall let you know how the afterthought heels go. Have you tried them before? Let me know. Let me know how hard it is or maybe not, it might frighten me off. Um, but I'm going to have a go at that and see what happens. Are there any tips actually to finding out where the heel should be? That's one thing I'm not too sure of. Um, I think I might have got it right. I've sort of gone by all the other socks I've made, so I'm hoping it's right, but we'll see. That's why the marker's there for the heel. So that's that. So next up, I have got my next entry for the Cozy Up for Winter Mail, living in my Robin bucket. Now this Robin bucket, I found in a farm shop and it was three pounds. Can you believe that at Christmas? So my, um, Advent socks were in there for a while, but now I've got something else in here. And I am making a tea cozy. So I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to see, but I will show you anyway. So here is my tea cozy. And this is the spring tea cozy in, which is in the tea cozies two book. I'll put links below. And I have used this yarn, I don't actually really know what this is. I think it might be a robin, it's just a really cheap, sort of a creaky yarn. Um, but to get that lovely texture that I've got in there, I paled it up with the dough colourway from Down Sheepy Lane, which is a sock set that I bought a while ago, and I adore this yarn, really good dyer. Um, recommend, so I put those two together. And on the top of the pattern, it has um, some flowers and leaves and things like that. So I've been busy making leaves. I say busy, I've made two. 
made two leaves, there you go. Um, and they're going to sit on the top of my tea cosy. So it's quite a sort of vintage style tea cosy, but I like that. I like kind of old fashioned -y looking things, which brings me onto my next project, which is a crochet one. I know, exciting, right? So, oh, it's quite a big bag. So I haven't managed to get over to um, crochet class. Um, for a while but I did buy some yarn while I was last there and I was going to start making a blanket but a couple of weeks went past and I couldn't remember how to do it so but I really wanted to do some crochet so I figured I would just um, start making a blanket out of these colours now I love these colours I'm a 70s kid and um, these colours are just so 70s they're brilliant I'm just making a granny square blanket which will show you Excuse my ends, but they're the colours. Aren't they gorgeous? So yeah, so I'm just working and getting, well, just going until however big I, however big, to whatever size I get to. So I'm just on a mustardy one here. It's my little owl progress keeper. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I really love the colours of this. It's so 70s and brilliant. I love it. So the yarn that I'm using is um, all style craft yarn. Um, it's kind of acrylic-y sort of, I've got loads of balls here. Um, if you want to know what colourways they are, you can hop on over to my Ravelry page. It's all listed there, as are all of these projects, I think. So yeah, so I'm doing really well with that, getting quite a bit done. I'm just gonna keep going. Not something I'm gonna show you every time I podcast, but every now and then I'll get it out and, um, and you can have a little look-see. So, yeah, so there you go. <clears throat> I think that is everything. I'm just going to check my notes. Yeah, I think that's everything as far as um, finished objects. Mm. So, acquisitions. Um, always reminds me, Jack and I started to go, that's for the stash. Ah! Um, Kind of, and that comes into my head every time I think of my stash and um, acquisitions now. Maybe I need to put it in there as like a bit of music to um, just pep things up a bit. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I'll have to check that out. Um, anyway, I digress. So as well as getting my lovely bag from Ali, um, I have been really good. I haven't bought anything. I'm really pleased with that because on my last podcast, I forgot the pledge. Now the pledge was between me and Jack that we wouldn't buy anything until Unravel. So we're going to save up all our money and we're going to buy something at Unravel. And I completely forgot the pledge. I can't believe I did it. I just completely forgot. So I, um, and I bought this Outlander yarn and he was really disappointed in me. So I've been really strong and I've not even looked. I've been really, really good. Um, however, it's been Christmas and um, Jack is an amazing person to have to buy um, you presents at Christmas because he buys some really beautiful things. So I did get a few lovely nitty things that I thought I I would share with you. Um, the first thing which I've wanted for ever, but it's I know it's really pricey, and I know and I understand it's pricey because um, it's just an amazing book. It's an amazing book. Sorry, my camera's flashing. It always unnerves me when that happens. But anyway. Anyway, so he bought me this book. It is just divine. It's the Vintage Shetland Project by Susan Crawford. And I really want to get my colour work knitting underway this year. I love everything colour work. And... Um, and at Unravel, I'm hoping to get some yarn to start a project. I don't know what though at the moment because there are so many amazing colour work projects. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm thinking of keeping it reasonably simple. Um, not sure I'm up to this level just yet. But this book is just gorgeous. And not only is it an incredible pattern book, it, the history behind it is just a really, really lovely, lovely read. There's some absolutely stunning projects in here, and there's one. This is my this is like colourwork goals right here. Look at that. Oh, I 
want that and I want to wear it with my dungarees. It is just incredible. So I got that, so thank you, Jack. That was just beautiful and an amazing, amazing present. Um, I might like to add that my other half bought me an air pump for the car. So that was um, something that I needed, yes. Um, but it wasn't quite in the same category as that book. <laughs> And the other book he got me was Illuminated Knits by Lucy Haig, um, which is lovely. Um, there's some really gorgeous um, textured projects in here. And it sort of um, focuses on slip stitch cabling. I love cable, so I'm really looking forward to this one. And there's a really gorgeous jumper in here as well. Um, look at that. It's amazing. So yes, I'm looking forward to um, trying out some things in there. They've got this lovely square blanket, which I quite like the idea of because you only have to knit a square. So um, it's not like starting a whole project and then finding it a bit tricky. So, um, so it's a really good starter project. So yeah, so I've got that one as well. And then he bought me two um, Malabrigo yarns, which I haven't used before. Um, it's Malabrigo socks. So I got one in this lovely red um, and brown autumnal sort of shades, which is glorious. I hope you can see if I put it close to the light. Sorry, the light's not great. So yeah, so I love that one. And also this one here. Well, what was that one called? That's called Marte Mart. Um, and this one is called Zarzamora. Love that. Um, and it's these peacock kind of colours, which is. Um, beautiful as well so um so i know i'm going to enjoy putting them into some projects so they're really lovely and then he really did spoil me because he bought me some walk collection now if you watch my last podcast um you know he was talking about his i think the petty petty harbour socks he's working on and it is just in this most beautiful yarn that is the softest yarn it's 70 percent alpaca 20 percent silk and 10 percent cashmere um, I'm not sure what the colourway is. I'm not sure they're written on here. Um, but yeah, it's their Lux sock. And look at that. I don't know if you can see the halo on there. But it is just beautiful. So yeah, I've actually got hedgerow yarns in some autumnal colours that I think might work really well with that in a shawl or something like that. But it's just soft. It smells nicely. It smells a bit sheepy like that. Okay, so yeah, so they were all my acquisitions. Oh, and then Jack, he came home today and he said, Mum, I've bought you something. And he went to Brighton yesterday, so I was thinking, you've been to Yak. And, um, and he bought me this lovely bracelet. Look at that. It's a tape measure, I don't know if you can see. Um, but basically you can unpop it. And it's a leather tape measure. How cool is that? I love it. Thanks, Jack. I'm not going to put it on again now because um, that will take like 10 minutes of video. And it came in this really sweet, um, really sweet tin. So it's uh, I Love Handles Wrist Ruler. There you go. And this is colour six. It's like in a bluey grey colour. So yeah, so I love that. So thank you, Jack. Um, I'm really lucky. Very lucky. So what else have I got? Oh, the other thing. Jack spoiled me so much. And I shall be paying him back in yarn on the day. Is he bought some tickets to Unravel, and um, which is in Farnham, and it's the weekend of I think it's the twenty first ish of February. So I'm really excited to be going along, going along with him to that. And he's also booked us on to a workshop. So in the afternoon, we're going to be doing the double knitting workshop with Nathan Taylor, who is obviously the sock magician. So I'm so excited about doing that. You've got to do like a cast on, um, you've got to do some homework. So you've got to learn how to cast on before you go. But um, yeah, really looking forward to meeting him and obviously learning a new skill and also buying all the yarn for my colour work sweater. So yeah, so looking forward to that. So thanks, Jack. And I'm going up with Jack. So um, if you're there, come and say hi. Let me know if you're going. Um, I'm really excited about going. I went last year, my first year, and I just loved it. So um, so this year's gonna be extra special. Obviously going with Jack and also doing a workshop, which I haven't done before. So, so that's coming up. Otherwise, um, 
don't forget about the Cozy Up for Winter Mail. Ta -da! Um, hop on over to the Ravelry page to come say hi, take part, have a look at all the lovely things that people are making. And it sort of warms the heart that there's such a lovely community out there of makers. Um, yeah, it's just so lovely. So next time I see you, um, something special is happening. Not going to say too much about that, but um, it involves somebody else. And um, yeah, lots to look forward to there. So that's probably going to be sort of first week in February. Um, I'm not going to say anything, but make sure you tune in. I shall obviously, as always, put, um, put up on my Instagram when this video is going out or when these videos go out. So yeah, come and hop along and um, see who I'll be with. That'll be exciting. But otherwise, um, I just intend to continue with my cardigan, get my tea cosy done, get my socks done. Um, and otherwise I haven't got too many plans. So I'd like to start making a shawl um, with the yarn that I got from Unravel last year. So I would like to cast on a shawl at some point. Um, but I kind of don't want to get too busy because I want to start my colour work sweater when I get that from Unravel. So um, exciting stuff. So thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, take care. Bye.